Why every time I always come on this thing, I'm always scratching or moving my hands or doing something. <sighs> but good morning, everybody. Walk on. What is today? Monday morning, bright and early. Still got my Popeyes. Teddy holding my sunflower seeds. So, I'm at this pickup. It's a dry load. All I'm shipping is TV I'm going to Texas. So, all these trucks out here getting loaded with all these TVs in them. I walked in there. It's just flat screen TV is everywhere. Going to Walmart distribution center. But um not really one that one that I talk to y'all about. Found out well, found out a few things and I'm gonna tell y'all a few stuff that y'all gotta um look out for when y'all doing y'all um little macros on your tests and stuff for all the ones that's um going in for upgrades congrats all oh, ladies and gentlemen i'm i try to put out a video with um with that three cr england pileup that's on i-80 in wyoming i mean the conditions was just horrible horrible to drive and i wouldn't even went out there but that video was old anyway but it's something for for people to see just to see what the snow condition is like and how scary it is it ain't a pretty sight so um what i found out not too long ago from um payroll because i've been trying to find out why every load i keep getting keeps saying 26 cents a mile so apparently you have to work well you have to be employed with them for over a year and anytime you're solo within your your time you're, you're here with them you actually get 26 cents a mile even though you take your ttt class i mean your ttt class to go upgrade as a true trainer that you can now accept on um, phase one trainers instead of accepting on um, those phase two um, students and you kind of basically go over what they what they were um, doing you um you don't get that 30 cents a mile until somebody actually gets on the truck till you actually pick up a student that's when that load now becomes 30 cents a mile that's where you earn that four four cents extra on your on that 20 26 Now, it's about 11.35, my appointment time. What the? My appointment, this thing just pushed the shit out of me. Good thing I chalked my wheels in. Oh, they say I had to chalk my wheels, drop my landing gear, and um, slide my tandems all the way to the rear. This shit just pushed the shit out of my trailer. So I'm pretty sure the wheels. I was about to say, um, they say they ain't gonna load me until 12:30, which is my appointment time. But on my Qualcomm, it says I'm supposed to be here by 12 o'clock. So the faster I get out of here, the faster I can get some some miles in because this place is about 18 hours away. 18, yeah, about 18, 20 miles away. So. I can push at least five in now today because I only got six hours and 27 minutes left on my drive time. I've been up since about four o'clock, four, zero, four hundred, and this is in, that's in the a.m. So I'm, I can only basically push at least a good five, five hour drive in and then take a 10 hour rest break and then drive the next 10 and then by then the load will be ready to be due at um 
at on the 11th because it's the 9th now so tomorrow I'll just run 10 so I can get 5 in now 10 tomorrow or do my 11 hour drive time and just push it straight to it if I can get there it's basically right off I-35 mile marker um, 4 480 I did my pre-trip and I found it that it was right off the highway but back to the pay um, pay you don't get the 30 cents a mile until you actually get a student on the truck apparently uh, if you're running solo you still stay at 26 cents a mile within your first six months then you go solo after six months and you become solo and then you can go upgrade take the true trainer class go um train new students right out the school that has no experience of driving so you basically have to um have, be held responsible and held accountable for how that person saved drive and now they um came up with a new policy that within the first five months your um anything that happened to that student as in if they cause any accident or anything it comes back on the trainer because the trainer should have taught them well enough um, not to come um, getting any accidents or none of that stuff but I just find that unfair because every in within every new truck driver within your first first day to one I'd say one year but most places say um, most states or not even states most officers or companies or policy would say within your first day to your six months you're liable to get get in at least five accidents so that's basically like one accident a month in which i haven't been in any accidents and i've been seven months in so sorry about that um so i'm just gonna go straight to um the phase one apprentice training packet basically it's how um it has all the macros and stuff in here and how to break the ice between two people um but the main macros that you really got to worry about just to get a heads up on on most most of these so if you guys have a pen and paper or if you have your phase one apprentice packet you can highlight these or make an asterisk mark or circle them or do whatever you got to do to mark them and notify them so I'm gonna go through I'm gonna go through um, the ones that I use on a daily daily basis excuse me is well it, it's basically two two routes to um if you're on a dedicated route yours might be different from mine if you're otr over the road yours is going to be just like mine more, more likely you're going to be on over the road because you're going to be as a team driver for at least six months anyway then when you're six months you can go solo so it basically look like this so your macro zero is for your free form you send to your your DM if you need to communicate with them whoever is in after hours you write use that and, and get to them but that's in in the the weekends where during the daytime after a certain time then it goes to after hours then you use your macro one for your vehicle pre-trip inspection which you go 15 minutes on duty do you walk around check all your, your wires your brakes everything your airline your tires your rims hair to board your mirrors your lights all that stuff uh, macro 2 is for your bills when you send your bills let um, CR England know um, you're loaded now you receive the bills and everything and that you refer is at temperature and how much pieces how much it weighs and all that stuff um, when you're done now and you and you drop the load and everything is all done you send your macro 5 macro 5 is your empty call your empty call tell them that um, you're good to go 
um, for another load and they'll they should um, send you another load before you even drop that load and then um, macro 7 is when you do your swap you swap out the load with another trailer like I said on previous videos um, they're gonna tell you where to go you drop off that load one person to another and then um, I, I never use um, for pallets I never ask for pallets which is macro 18 no not 18 that's macro 11 18 is actually um when you tell them that basically you're in in the cr england yard and you need um a trailer and you see an empty trailer out there you can either call a trailer hotline and they can tell you um what trailer is is in the area that you can pick up or if you see it empty out there and they can't see it um you can hook up to it and send your macro 18. now for your macro 21 if there's a problem with your tractor or trailer you go on macro 21 and you send in that and um it will ask you if it's a for tractor b for trailer and it asks you for all the other stuff um to explain to them what really is wrong with the with the truck for your 22 is your load acknowledgement that when you do all your pre-trip and everything and you can com um, complete it safe and on time you send your macro 22 to um as your load acknowledgement when you accepted the load that you will get it there safe and on time um 23 is when you arrive at the shipper shipper or receiver regardless no matter which one d01 d02 d03 p01 p02 p03 any amount of numbers it can go up to um you send that um dun -dun 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 -dun. i think they stop with the 24 because when you send your macro 5 which is your empty call it automatically tells them that you're already leaving and you're empty um now when you send your macro 25 and which is for um directions you can send it um fill out the trip number um the driver code and um where you need to go is um p01 p02 p03 or d01 d02 d03 that's basically i'm um, telling them that you need directions if you don't have the qualcomm gps or if you don't have a rem mcnally gps you can send that macro 25 and they will send you the directions and you got to read it out or have the computer read it out for you uh i never have to use um macro 30 because that's for pallets um for spot trailer for macro 36 is your spot trailer so if they tell me to drop this load that i have now in a in a cr england yard i have to send a macro 36 tell them okay the load is at the the destination where you guys um tell me to drop it and it's there now uh 44 isn't what i'm doing now when i um Say my arrival call, go inside, check in at my shipper or receiver, and they say, hey, go dock it in door number 16. When you dock it in, in number 16, you come and you type in here, you go to, um, you go to your Macro 44, you type in D01, D02, D03, don't ask you for trip numbers or none of that, you just type that in and you send it off that you, you go, um, you're now in that spot in the dock door getting loaded or unloaded. Uh, for 48 is on um, the DOT inspection if a cop pulls you over or if you're in a um, way station or something and you get an inspected um, by a DOT officer on um, macro 50 is for your accident hopefully no one ha has to use this macro uh, I would sincerely hope that everybody should be driving safe and won't have to be filling out an accident report uh, for your macro 52 now that's your um after hours after your dm leaves and there's nobody there to talk to you through macro zero you send a macro 52 and you talk to them that's basically it so if i missed anything or if you guys can't remember them rewind the video go back to it and then you can just check it out after that anything else after that send me a message and i'll just go over everything else with you guys